hashtag. Hashtag photo three. Hashtag the photo three challenge. Now, if you've no idea what I'm on about, and you probably haven't, then do let me explain. So I got the idea of doing this shoot today from a video that I did down in London last year, where I shot a uh, shape, a building, and a place. Uh, the shape was a curve, the building was a building on the South Bank um, National Theatre, and the place ended up being the Olympic Park. So over the summer months, I thought I would uh, do a set of videos all linked up with the hashtag Photo3, the Photo3 Challenge. So the links for my challenges can be three subjects, three themes, three techniques, three places, or even a mixture of all of those. Well, today I'm in Birmingham and my themes today are reflections and lines, straight lines this time, not curves, and my technique is going to be shooting square. Now, one of my themes today was going to be shadows, but it's an overcast day today. There's no sun, there's no shadows. But anyway, let's go and see what Birmingham has to offer. Well, I've just had a walk through town where I was hoping to get some reflections in the windows and such, but there isn't much light around because it's overcast, so there's not much light reflecting off the windows either. So for now, I've come down to the canals where there is some reflections, so hopefully we'll get some shots down here. Now I did one of these shoots down in London last week where the two themes were a number and a colour and a technique for shooting black and white. I did the numbers in Marylebone area, then I moved on to Holborn and Covent Garden to do the colours and finished up in the St Paul's area to do the black and white. So I did three separate challenges in three separate places so I could concentrate on each one at a time. But today I've got less time so I'm doing the two themes together, the reflections and the lines, I'm looking out for those together and then I'll do the shooting squares on its own. But if you do want to see that London shoot you can see it as part of my E6 subscription. But doing these challenges are great practice 
both for me and it can be for you, it trains your eye to look out for subjects and content. So if you do struggle to look for shots within a view, this is a great way to learn. Well, hopefully you've been able to tell in those pictures which ones are the, uh, the ones of the reflections and which ones are the straight lines. But you've noticed that the ones of the canal have been very abstract. I haven't got very still conditions, so I don't have really nice reflections of the buildings and the surrounding area very much. So they've all been a very abstract, but still reflective type shot. Now today I'm shooting with my prime lenses uh, and that means I carry two bodies. So I've got the Olympus uh, Pen F, which I use with my 17mm as a sort of standard fitment lens. And then I've got my 12mm and 25mm that also swap over on this body. On my other body, the EP5, I have my telephoto lenses. So this is a 45mm lens and I have a 60mm which I swap over on this body. So I have the two bodies so I'm not swapping over lenses too many times. And obviously because these are micro four third lenses you can double those numbers up to give the full frame equivalent. Well I'm going to break off from shooting uh, reflections and lines at the moment and I'm going to go on to my next challenge theme which is technique and is shooting squares. Now if you've watched any of my videos before you'll know that I love shooting in the square format. I love the simplicity of it, I love the balanced format of it but I always shoot square in camera. It's never an afterthought, it's always done at a time of shooting. Now this I even used to do when I shot with Canon, which you couldn't change the format. I used to frame up the LCD screen with a little black card to help me frame up the square for cropping later, but it was always a pre-thought rather than an afterthought. Now I got converted to the square format back in the early 90s. Um, the photographer Charlie Waite had a book out called The Making of Landscape Photographs, and it was pretty much the bible of landscape photography back in those days and i loved what he was doing which was doing what everybody else wasn't he was shooting square format 
when everybody else was shooting rectangles. Now he captured his square images with a Hasselblad camera and he showed you with those images in the book how simple the square format was and how he structured the view to suit that square format. So the square format is all about simplicity, shape and balance. It doesn't force the viewer to view the picture from left to right or up and down. So let's go and shoot some square pictures and I'll show you how I do it. So I'm heading along the canal towards the jewellery quarter area of Birmingham but I think one more reflection image before I get there. Okay, let's start off with a very simple one here. You've got colour, you've got shape. Frame it up in a square format, simple as can be. So here we have a building full of shapes, full of different size windows, different shapes there. But look, in the middle, you've got color. You've got that green, it's a good starting point. You've got that window off to the right, which also is a nice shape. So you've got shape, you've got shape, and you've got a bit of color. Stand in the middle, you've also got a drain pipe. Square that off, and you have got a really nice simple framing there. Now here, what do you see? There's all sorts of shapes, all sorts of things going on, but this isn't a rectangle, this is a square. It's order from the chaos. You've got shaping around this building. You've got the juxtaposing buildings on that side, we have got a street lamp, and you've got a signpost. Can you see the shot? If you crop that down to a square, simplify the view, and what do you have? Okay, here's our next setting, our next scene, our next location. So where's the squares? Where's the squares over there? Can you see them? What am I going to photograph? Come on, it's up to you now. So I've just got time to do two more subjects. One being this church, the other being the BT Tower up there. Two square formats on two vertical biased looking subjects. How am I going to do this? Well, it proved to be a more successful day for reflections than lines, but here's a few more.
Well, that's me just about finished. The photo free challenge in Birmingham. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm done. <laughs>